I do um I do realize the devil's design. I uh, I see that with uh, uh, the understanding of seeing uh, Steve Ducey, in fact, the devil's design, and since that uh, street uh, window, um, uh, Eve, look uh, for a sex partner. Um, go to your front window, basically open the window, look out. Um, I get the devil's design as far as seeing uh, my neighbor, uh, which in fact did this roof, I was told, um, and they have kids. So my neighbor's leaving, uh, I guess, assumed uh, to go to work. So the devil's setup is that I'm in fact looking out my window to see if he indeed is leaving. Um, I think in the last days uh, that I see how Satan will be working with his media and with uh, people's minds, them being tormented by seducing spirits that would in fact be able to give them thoughts and paradigms to lead them down the road of, uh, of torment and setups and getting angry with the current government that they're in. And uh, I, uh, that's an interesting uh, thing that, uh, um, that Satan would ever entrap somebody to make them look like they're guilty of something i you know the whole thing uh with uh big tech and uh youtube with youtube showing uh for a long time uh tan skin kids from overseas india and muslims tan skin kind of similar to mexicans and uh in fact showing them nude and swimming and this and that and getting me programmed uh, because, in fact, I uh, was not allowed to have a good name to meet women, uh, to get married. I've never went on a date with a woman in my whole life, 20 years, being born again. So without a sex partner, of course, social media, including YouTube, can program you to think a certain way. If you see enough of it, if you agree at one point, of being lustful at one of the many images or videos that they do indeed give you. Now, after they've programmed you or put a certain lust demon in you, that in fact, a situation like that, where you follow the cues, like, okay, I'm supposed to go look out the window in your strange faith that you got taught by Facebook to read uh, names and that differently because uh, I was wondering it, it started out it started out as uh, T is for truth as religion or something it stood out on a profile so T stands for truth right and then I started uh, looking at the names on Facebook that would appear on my feed and they would do it in such a way where I would dissect words that I would start um, moving. Oh, that means that and T. Okay, that makes sense. Truth. Uh, it spells the sentence out. Okay, that's how I do it. And they taught me with artificial intelligence uh, to start reading things differently. Like then a uh, tip uh, or a Q came up. And uh, what does a Q stand for? I don't know. And then they showed me instantly on my social media as they had me building uh, that kind of mind a Q tip, right? Remember Q, Q and on Q, tip, tip, tip. Well, they program me that Q stands for tip, and they program. Well, anyway, I say. But anyway, uh, they get you thinking uh, that um, a different way than average people think. So then, if you go to court or something, you totally forget your past. Of okay, why do I? read words that way and you will think uh they'll say yeah you're just crazy it's just an ad on tv it's just an ad on tv but in fact uh satan is in fact the deep state is mess with they know what's tv that you indeed watch and they can put special commercials on there but anyway anyway you go through all this you learn all satan stuff and this and that and it's just an ever road of entrapment and death that's what satan's he only comes to steal 
kill, and destroy. And the people that don't live a life for Jesus, they're in this road all the time. They're getting set up uh, to, or they're trying to still kill and destroy and they don't see it. They don't understand the things that they do indeed do when they're under Satan's control. But those with wisdom and all that uh, see the design of thing that you're not going to understand everything. But uh, um, when Christians get saved, they just got to know that they got to trust and God, that he's sovereign. He doesn't have to ask Satan for anything. He's in control of everything. And you going through what they call uh, uh, salvation. Because we're, again, we're in, we're in death row. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And the wage of sin is death. We're on death row. But we have to learn that our adversary that's coming to still kill and destroy us through all the adversity we have to trust we have to learn to trust in the sovereign christian god so i don't uh, uh next to our neighbor i uh, don't worry you can't uh i know you guys have been doing stuff oh, well, i'm not gonna run over and and try to talk to your kids i don't do that i leave money once in a while and you're uh walk to your front porch and leave a dvd of superbook or i leave a 20 dollar bill because i didn't know during this pandemic if you guys were eating or anything you guys talk another language i don't talk to you guys but i once in a while would leave money in your mailbox just to uh love my neighbor as myself.